let's talk linebackers. This is arguably the best linebacker unit in the league. Um, let's start with uh, Fred Warner. I mean, um, good on good on good. Uh, Fred had arguably, for one stretch, I felt like Fred was outdoing himself uh, yeah. of the season. Um, great leader. What can you say about how you play like that on a consistent level? You know, He's so consistent, man. He's consistent. so freaking consistent. Like, yeah. When you're so good, you forget about somebody being on the field. You know you have a ball player. Uh, yeah. um, one thing that I also would love to talk about and point out for Fred is that Fred has become quite a voice and a spokesman yeah. for the team. He has I become really, the voice. The voice. Yeah. Yeah. I really respect how yeah. he galvanized and galvanized the boys and led the troop on respecting Brock Purdy. Um, yep. That I feel like Fred was one of the first people to come out and start. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like his confidence kind of put everybody else back about mm -hmm. how matter of factly he was about Brock. And just um, I think that Fred is never going to stop getting coached. But there is a point when when a player does. He's so accountable. He's reached so many pinnacles to where he wants to be as a player that he starts getting consulted rather than being coached. And I think Fred is on that level um, where consulted. Um, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Hey, we got some, um, some suggestions. Take them or leave them. We kind of trust you at this point. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. I think Fred, it's his defense. Um, yeah. And I, I, I think uh, stay healthy. Um, make sure that you're ready to rock again, because as, as the world turns in San Francisco, um, our team can't, we can't have, we can't have enough steadfast linchpin players like Fred Warner on our team. Yeah, right? Fred, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Yeah, that's my that that those are my coaching points, my quality control coaching points. The stability. For this keep doing, just keep doing yeah. exactly what you're doing. You are the model of professionalism and excellence on this team. Dre Greenlaw, let's talk about Dre. I mean, are you ready to be a superstar? Because they're gonna say that it was a fluke, baby. They're gonna say it was a fluke. I mean, my biggest thing from Dre is, can you do it again? Um, this was your first season that you got through healthy, relatively healthy. Um, the season before, uh, you dealt with injuries. And the biggest thing that I would say to Dre is, try to start focusing on picking your spots. We don't need you to be a hammer at all times. We want you to last. That's what I was going to say. Well, keep going. I'm going to say something else. Yeah, um, but um, you can add. Go ahead. Okay, so my, my thing with Dre is Dre, I, I love watching Dre Greenlaw play, and I feel like he's on the cusp of being an all-pro. But the, maybe the one reason that he wasn't or a pro bowler is six 15-yard penalties? Six? Dude, it was coming. Can, can, you, can you please cut that out of your game, Dre? Because like, yeah. if you do, like, you're, you're a complete, excellent, elite linebacker, and that's it. Every time you do that, it's like so unnecessary, and it makes me want to tear my hair. I was like, what, Dre, no, why? You're a vet, you're smart, it's not, I mean, he seems, when he talks, he's so reasonable. He doesn't seem like he's out there, like he's a dirty player at all. He doesn't right. seem stupid, he seems smart, he seems like he's not a dirty player, it just seems like this is something that he, he could cut out, you know? Six yeah, in a season, I mean, come it, on. That, that's not counting the one in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, I agree, but at the same time, it's his... It, no, it, it is kind of one the playoffs, sorry. It's more it of a counting. mantra. It's a calling card. It's an edict. It's the way he plays. I would never I tell know. another player to stop doing something on the field um, that keeps right. him on his edge. Um, I, I will That's I fair. will tell him to pick his spots, yeah. understand the situation, yeah. know what's going on before you start teeing off, That's you know... Uh, I, you know, because these are grown yeah. men. You know, yes. we're talking to grown men. You know, you're not just going to tell somebody to do something on the field who makes more money than you. This is the only thing I got to say for Drake, because to me, he's got it. Like, he's reached, he's right there with Fred. But Fred doesn't do this as much. Right. As, I mean, you, hey, once three, once or twice a season, three times, fine, man, of course. But six times, and by the end, it felt like, here it comes. The Dre Greenlaw 15-yard penalty is coming at some point in this game. Was, oh, there it is. So, I, I, I'm just more, I'm more focused on Dre just taking care of his body. I, I, I want I want Dre to stay because he just throws it around. Yeah, and um, I feel like we Dre. We already know we already you got your calling card, bro. You've earned your reputation. You yeah. know who you are. Um, and I'm never going to tell you to take anything off the gas, but 
I wouldn't mind seeing Dre make like some good form tackles. You know, we we want Dre to be around. Um, yeah. We lost. Yeah. Come on, man. We lost Navarro and Pat because That's they true. didn't last. And I think um, it's possible that Dre was not 100% down the stretch. He got hurt against the Raiders. He was not Raiders, 100%. He and was he was not. soldiering through it. Yeah. Yeah. He soldiered yeah. through that back injury. He was yeah. not healthy. Yeah. Um, Aziz Al Shair, you're a free agent. You were sort of the, not the odd man out, but you were the third guy in a defense that's not playing base all the time. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up going with D'Amico and being his new Mike linebacker in, in uh, Houston. Although, I don't know. I think he, I think Aziz Al Shair is a hell of a run defender. And uh, an all-around good linebacker, and I think he's been an asset to the defense the last few years. Yeah, um, I hate to say this, but it's been real. I yeah, mean, it's been uh, real. It's been real. It's been can't real. pay everybody. Uh, yep. Yeah, you can't pay them all. Um, Aziz, uh, I think what really, I think uh, just the chronological order of Aziz having that year with Dre being hurt, and then abruptly having to go into a supplementary role. Um, with Dre coming back, and then for Dre to be doing so well, you can't help but cheer your own teammate on. Um, yeah. uh, and uh, the origin story of Aziz, him and D'Amico are very close. Um, I believe they slept on, I think, slept on D'Amico's couch. Like, they, they're both. Oh, they're, wow. they're, okay. Yeah. Um, so, he's going to Houston. Um, he's going to Houston yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, they're, uh, he's been, he was a homegrown talent yep. um, that came in. I, was he, I think he was undrafted. Undrafted. Yeah, uh, yeah, and it's time for him to go get his bag. It's time for him. He's deserved his stage, and that's yeah. the, you know, that's the beacon of a good of a good organization is that, you know, it's free flowing because you just can't hoard everything, you know. Yeah. So yeah. it's just you know it's one of the problems we have. Uh, yeah. But I, I, I'm happy for him. I wish him the best. I, um, as he's yeah. leaving, I wouldn't say anything negative about him, but he deserves his bag, and he's and done I think it the right way. He, he actually might be a better fit at middle linebacker. Um, he was sort of playing outside linebacker here. Whenever mm -hmm. Fred Warner got hurt, he would be the guy to move into the mic. Maybe that's a better position for him. Um, You've mentioned that before, and I actually watched I, I agree with you. Because, um, I mean, I think be, on, the, on the edges, you need more like sideline to sideline speed. I don't know. Yeah, don't know. exactly. And I believe that's yeah. – I mean, that's Dre all day. But, that's Dre yeah, all day, Aziz sure. is going to do phenomenal in his next role. I would be surprised if he stays. Let's give uh, a grade for the linebackers for this season. A plus, A plus. We're the best linebacking core in the NFL. A the reason why we got away with so much on our defense is because of that linebacking core. Um, yeah, I feel it. You could say that the D line is the strength of the defense, but <clears throat> in a sense, a lot of teams have good D lines. Look at Dallas. Look at Philly. Not, a, not. I don't know if there's another team that has a linebacker uh, linebacking group like this. They're ahead. They of the got curve one. With this. Yeah, somebody maybe got like, one. They, maybe have one in a possible, but they don't got yeah. the three that we got. Absolutely. And that really differentiates the 49ers.